Hi there, it's Mr. Bellion here from Castlebrook Secondary School. Uh, it's been a long time. It's time to give you guys more instruction, recorded that is. So I'm starting off Illustrator here. And one of the things I want to talk about is like actually one thing specifically, and it's this lovely tool here. Prior to starting that, Command New or File New, and I'm going to work in Landscape 14. doesn't matter the size. It's in inches right now. Here's my work. Uh, you guys are going to be creating, you've already done our logo, you've created a logo, and we're going to trace it and illustrate it and bring it into Maya and then extrude it, have fun, make a little motion graphic. So the tool that we need to use is this guy here. This is an awesome tool. A little um, background info here of the of Illustrator. Okay, so we know it's the same tools as Photoshop, Command N, Command Minus, Command Plus, all good. So one thing I want to do when you are tracing or drawing, for example, drawing lines, and we're going to talk about this. Um, there's a fill here. Okay, so this this there are two colors, like fill and, and stroke, or means outline. So for now, when you are tracing uh, logos, you may just want to clear this out. And the diagonal means zero, nothing in there. Okay, same up here. If you don't see that and you don't understand, I just click over here, as opposed to having a color, for example, like this, boom, boom, and wait for the O, boom, close it off, done. So I don't want that, right? I can always come back and clear the color either in here, one, or Command Z, and come back in here. And then as this is already selected, that's in the foreground, um, boom, it's done. So this is the approach we're going to take. And I'm sorry I'm going a little fast. We have short for time here. So this tool, right off the bat, it's a tool that most students do not like using. However, when you do get used to it, it's a fantastic tool. So all I'm doing is clicking, moving my mouse, clicking, moving my mouse, and so on. Okay? Do that one more time. And I'm going to start over here. Let's say you're going to make a, you know, a landscape piece, mountain, and you know this lovely area. So this is roughly my mountain. Okay, I'm going to come out, get my arrow tool, done. So what's what's interesting about this tool is as long as you keep clicking, you make straight lines. Okay, so watch another method. Click, and this time the second click, I'm not going to let go. I'm just going to move my button. My I'm going to left click, and I'm just going to drag over. So look at the difference. Now I'm just going to go click, and it's a straight line. I let go too late, it'll be here. So the, the, the third time here, if I click and not let go, look what you can do. You can spin around, have fun with this, OK? It takes time getting used to, OK? And then I'm just going to go my arrow tool, done, which is a selection tool, OK? So notice that I left this one uh, sharp. Now, you guys know in Photoshop and most tools, most apps, when you see a little uh, triangle out under the tool, it means there are additional items below. So take a look at this. You add anchor points, you delete anchor points, and you convert anchor points. My favorite part is right here. OK, so let's see here. Let's see what this means. Add. So for example, I can add, right? I'll take my white arrow tool, check this out. Really cool, highlight it. And then now I can move it around, OK? But notice it's not organic at this point. You know, this is cool because, you know, mountain peaks are not perfect. And then I'll come over here, do the same thing over here. Click. So I'm adding points, OK? Uh, verts in 3D, vertices, OK? So I'll get my white arrow tool, sub-selection tool, and I just bring it out a bit, make it a little more uh, organic, as I said earlier. We don't want things to be too symmetrical. Look at this. This one has a bezier handle. OK, all good. So here's what I can do. OK, so we added points, all right? So that's what that does. And this one obviously takes away points. So you get what I mean. For example, I can take this one away, and we've got a sharp edge here, OK? I'll get my wet air tool one more time, click here, and maybe peek this up here this way, right? All right, so here comes my favorite tool, Convert Anchor Point, all right? So watch this. Click, don't let go. Look at that. Very, very cool. I'll do the same thing over here. Even though I don't have it selected, it'll pick it. I can do it down here too. Okay, commands that I don't want that to be the case. All right, so that's really fast method of using this system, right? I'm just gonna make a new layer right now and hide the previous one. And I'm just gonna bring in a logo, okay, or a poster, my favorite short animation short by Pixar, and it's the Presto movie. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is quickly, I'm gonna actually trace the logo, okay? So one of these two. Um, one second here. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. Good enough pixels. OK, so uh, let me just command minus out a bit, make this smaller. It's a really good size. OK, 
Okay, there's many ways of tracing logos, but this is an important method that you know uh, most people in industry use. Okay, this tool is very powerful, so I'm just going to leave it over here, like this, and I'm going to lock it afterwards. Okay, uh, pardon me, press OK, just leave it here, click out, good to go, lock. Bye bye. New layer. Okay, so this is here. I'm going to get my pen tool, my favorite tool, fountain pen. Empty here. Foreground, fill, empty. Not foreground, it's fill, it's not Photoshop. And stroke, outline. Okay, so why don't we just take red for now because uh, there's a lot of black in the background, so it won't help us. Yeah, let's go with red. Oh, yeah. And then zoom in. And maybe I'll do one letter and go from there. I'll do the P and the O just for fun. Okay, so you start up, click, move your mouse. Click again, but do not let go. You don't have to make this perfect, okay? Click, don't let go. Not bad. Click, don't let go, and move your mouse, basically is what I'm saying. You click. This one I'm going to leave as is. I'm going to click, move away, click, move away, come down here, click, come up here, and I can click in the middle and close that. Okay, I made the angle there, and again, uh, that was a little too sharp for you guys to get. See, I clicked here and I made the angle. Over here, I didn't. So this one is done. One is not. However, I have the inside to do as well, right? So let's do that. Let's come in here. I'm just going to click once, click twice, boom, straight line. Third time, I'm going to hold this. Yeah, and move my mouse. Click, and just drag your mouse. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I can make this look really bad. And then afterwards, I can come in and fix it, like Felix. So check this out right here. And come over here. Let me zoom in for you guys. So look at these lovely Bezier handles. Like you guys in Maya and 3ds Max, for me, you know what these Bezier handles can do. Um, so look at that. Now I'm cleaning it up. I'm making it actually somewhat really aligned to the existing one, aligning things. So that's cool. I'll take this one, move it up a touch. So click and drag. So that really, it's minute. Okay, so that's cool. The P is done. All right, let's go and do the O because that's a different form altogether. <coughs> Pardon me. Here we go. Get the fountain pen tool again. So this one I'm going to click and go to halfway somewhere here and not let go. And I'm just dragging, 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 having fun. Cool, right? Do the same thing over here. Look at that. Okay? And I don't care that it, oh, I forgot. Let me just command Z and come back over here. And you can actually control Z, so do not let go. So I'm going to have to let go here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to like control this and then close it up up here. Done. Okay. Um, Okay, so let's do the outside. That was the inside. And again, we can fix all this with the sub-select tool, the white arrow tool. So check it out. Click once, boom, have fun, all that kind of stuff. Just have um, faith in this, okay? It'll, it'll work. So look how nice that did. Boom. Click. Look at that. Drag up. The Bezier handles are stretching things out. I'm going to have to come up here one more and then close it up right up there, okay? So if we zoom in now, Command plus or Control plus. Come down here, get your sub selection tool, which is the uh, direct select over here, like so. Click, and let's see, move that over. Look how nice that is. Bring this one over. Uh, I'm gonna have to select from the root right here. Okay, and look what I can do. I can bring it out in, and then you can actually. Uh, let's try this one over here, and there's that one. But what if I select mm, that handle? Look at that, right? And you can stretch it in. This is really cool, right? Look at that, and this one comes in, boom, good enough for me. And then we'll look over here, I'm looking at, at this and I'm noticing that the base doesn't have a really nice handle here, a nice arc to it, so I'll just slide that over, bring it in here, okay? And that's not bad, over here, I'll slide that up, and look, it's already working better already. So what I've noticed here, it's a little tight, so I'll just expand it by just stretching out, stretching out. So if I'm clicking, the software is doing it. All you're doing is left click. Okay, I'm gonna hold the space bar to pan. Come over here. Yeah, this is pretty good. I like it. And then I'm looking here. Not a good arc. Okay, so I may have to move it over. Not bad. That's pretty cool, actually. I could handle that. Okay, nice. And then let's try this one here. Take this one. So again, if I left click, look what I can do. I can do all these crazy things, right? And you're noticing that one side to the other is affecting, and I don't want that to happen sometimes because I really worked hard at this. So I may have to come in here and hit Option. I think it used to be Option or Alt. <coughs> Let me try that again. It's been a while, folks. Let me just grab this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Option or Alt, and click on the handle, not here, and it just breaks the um, uh, the relationship. So now one does not affect the other. How cool is that, right? 
click back here. I'm going to hold Option or Alt. And then look, it's there's no relation between one and the other side. Awesome. Okay, breaking the handles. We do that in Maya as well and 3ds Max. So click here and you go, oh yeah, there's something over here. And this is the root of it. I can come over here, fix it, good to go here. I'm not liking that angle there. So I may have to control it from over here. Click and just, hello, let's do that again. Left click and then drag. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to come out here, zoom out, zoom out, and let's check out the P and the O. Okay, I'm going to hide my background. Look how nice that is. Okay, so eventually we'll do, we'll group these things together here, and then Maya will extrude them really well. Okay, and that's another time for another lesson. Command G, you know, one thing. This one, one, two, Command G. It's group or Control G. And you got two lovely um, items here. Okay, so I think we're good to go. I'm going to shut this down, and then I'm going to have to duplicate this. See what happened here? So right now we need to use the... Yeah, let them in if they want to come in. Okay, cool. So watch this. Okay, here's my other favorite part about this. Okay, you see here where it says Pathfinder under Window? Awesome, awesome tool. Check it out. Okay, this is... Uh, I mean, this just should have been another lesson, but I'll just add it here. Pathfinder tool. Both items are selected. Pathfinder. Look at this. Explode, right? It's an explosion. Click. Done. This one here, and I'm going to get the white arrow, select it, and I'm going to move. Nothing's going to happen because it's grouped. So object, you go to ungroup or command shift G. Look at this now. Boom. Look at that. How sweet is that? So basically what I did is this. I'm going to take a rectangle tool. This is in my other lessons that you've seen before online, so watch this too. And I'll just make one more. So these are all intersecting, right? One is over the other. Watch how cool this tool is. Shift, shift, select all three. Boom. Ungroup. I've exploded them, so basically this means what? Right, let me just hover here, wait for it, and divide. To me, explode, easy term. So I click divide, and then I need to go ungroup. This is a system you need to do all the time. You can even right-click and do ungroup, I believe. Yes, awesome. Then you get your white arrow tool, right? And come in here and go, I'm going to take this one out. And bring this one up. And bring this one maybe over here, and so on and so on. You can do really cool abstract art with this. And you can also change colors. All right, I hope this helped. Bell's going to go. I got to go. Bell, you know, enjoy. Take care. See ya.